I'm board certified in preventative medicine, and I'm also assistant clinical faculty of the Wright State University Boonshaw School of Medicine, where I served in a teaching capacity for the last 25 years. I also was previously on the faculty of the Ohio State University College of Medicine. I'm also board certified in emergency medicine, and the emergency department is where I spent about 20 years of my career. It is there that I became motivated for the low-carb MD approach. It is there that I saw patients with obesity and diabetes and the end-stage problems associated with obesity and diabetes, including heart attacks and strokes, bad peripheral vascular disease, and bad infections, and other complications of those conditions. I now have about 20 years of experience in the wellness, weight loss, and metabolic health areas. Low Carb MD is a practice in Ohio and Indiana, serving patients in our local offices in Dayton and Richmond, and also by telemedicine for patients throughout the state. Our practice provides weight loss and metabolic health medical services, and we'll talk in a few minutes about what metabolic health actually is and how problems associated with poor metabolic health can be addressed. We use evidence-based approaches, and what that means is we use data-driven therapies that are proven to work. The tools that we provide patients are many, but the most important include low-carbohydrate diet, education, and coordination, remote monitoring of low-carbohydrate diets by measuring patients' blood glucose and weight from a distance, and also the use of a continuous glucose monitor. What's a continuous glucose monitor? A CGM, or continuous glucose monitor, is a wearable device which allows patients to observe their blood glucose reading in real time, 24 seven, if they choose to do that. It shows patients, based on what they eat, how their blood glucose changes. This includes blood glucose spikes and elevations for long periods of time, as well as average glucose over various periods of time and good and bad blood glucose patterns which need to be addressed. The CGM allows both you and your doctor and your nutritionist to monitor your blood glucose remotely. A CGM is placed by the patient on their arm or the abdomen in about a five minute procedure at home. This is a CGM. Basically the patient takes the CGM out of the box opens it, preps their skin with some alcohol, and places it. I've done it a number of times, it's painless. And as a result, you have a CGM on your skin, small device with a very tiny probe for the next two weeks. You attach the sensor electronically to your smartphone and that gives you continuous glucose readings for a two week period until you replace the device and repeat the process. CGM is a very safe technology and has been used by diabetics for over 15 years. What we're now doing is applying the use of a CGM to metabolic health and weight loss management services for patients that are not diabetic. By the way, blood glucose is the same as blood sugar and I'm gonna use those terms interchangeably. And again, we use the CGM for non-diabetic and pre-diabetic patients as a data-driven approach to weight loss and metabolic health. We help our patients maintain a normal glucose and avoid glucose spikes and prolonged elevations in blood glucose. This allows them to burn fat and to lose weight. When you can burn fat as opposed to glucose as an energy fuel source in your body, then you can you can lose weight effectively. Knowing your blood sugar on a continuous basis provides exceptional dietary motivations. Our patients very quickly learn what foods allow them to maintain a reasonable blood sugar and what foods that don't, and really the range of blood sugar they need to be in to lose weight. The body will prefer preferentially burn fat if the patient has a glucose in a reasonable range. And when you burn fat, then you can lose weight. Most Americans ingest a relatively high carbohydrate diet, and we've done that for over 100 years. The average American diet now consists of over 300 grams of carbohydrate a day. This keeps most people's blood glucose in a relatively high range. When this occurs, then your body burns glucose as its metabolic fuel source, and you store fat. 
that's how you gain weight. If you burn glucose constantly, then you never have the opportunity to burn fat and lose weight. By helping to eliminate blood sugar spikes and achieving a lower average blood sugar, we help patients burn fat consistently and lose weight. Think about it. Less than 100 years ago, Americans were ingesting less than 100 grams of carbohydrates per day on average. And of course, most were thin and certainly there were not a lot of overweight individuals. Diabetes was rare then, less than 1% of the patient population. Now the American diet averages over 300 grams of carbohydrates per day and the rates of obesity, diabetes, hypertension, peripheral vascular disease, heart disease, and the other complications of obesity and diabetes have skyrocketed. Today, about 60% of Americans are overweight and associated health issues such as diabetes, prediabetes, hypertension, elevated cholesterol and triglyceride are very common. These are the precursors to serious disease such as heart disease and peripheral vascular disease and strokes. We mentioned a few minutes ago that we're a metabolic health practice as well. A huge issue today is a condition called metabolic syndrome. What is metabolic syndrome? Metabolic syndrome is a very common condition for overweight middle-aged Americans. Metabolic syndrome consists of increased blood pressure, high blood sugar, excess body fat, and abnormal cholesterol and triglyceride. The common denominator of all these problems is a condition known as insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is what occurs when our body organs get hammered year after year with high blood sugar levels and spikes in blood sugar. Ultimately, the outcome is insulin resistance as our organs become resistant to insulin and our blood sugar rises. This again causes the atherogenic or the artery clogging effects of diabetes and obesity. If you can reverse insulin resistance, you can reverse or eliminate the problems of, of metabolic syndrome. Let's talk about diets for a second. There's a reason low carbohydrate and ketogenic diets have become very popular in recent years. They work. They work as a tool for weight loss control and they work in reversing metabolic syndrome. These low carbohydrate diets include options ranging from the keto diet, which can be hardcore at times with a very low number of carbohydrate grams today, to the low glycemic diet, which is much less res restrictive. But there are lots of diets in between. These include diets such as the Mediterranean diet, the Atkins diet, the paleo diet, and many others. We believe all these are viable options for a patient that is pursuing a continuous glucose monitored diet. It's a matter of fitting a personalized individual, individualized diet to the patient. Let me give you an example of what I mean. If you have a patient that eats 150 grams of carbohydrates a day and they want to lose that extra 15 or 20 pounds they've been trying to get off for a few years, then maybe a keto diet with less than 50 grams per day may be appropriate. But a patient eating 250 grams of carbohydrates a day can't go straight to 50 grams of carbohydrates today. A more incremental approach is appropriate. Maybe start at 150 grams of carbs per day and then work them down to a lower carbohydrate intake. If you start them at 50 grams a day, their body will not adjust appropriately and they'll abandon their diet efforts. We have to fit the diet to the person. The approach that is taken is to individualize the diet plan, and this is dictated by a number of variables, including a fasting insulin level, which we measure, as well as the first two weeks of continuous glucose monitoring data. This is truly a personalized approach. I want to mention that in addition to losing weight and reversing metabolic syndrome, there are other potential advantages of a CGM diet. These include reversal of fatty liver disease, which is all too common in America today, and also improvement in energy level and mental clarity. Low carbohydrate diets have been repeatedly shown to positively affect energy levels and levels of mental sharpness. How does this occur? Well, when you spike your insulin level and you spike your glucose level, then you drop your blood sugar level shortly after that. When blood glucose plunges, that becomes a problem known as hypoglycemia. That causes fatigue and it decreases mental clarity. By addressing that issue, you can improve energy levels and you can lessen 
mental fogginess. Sleep patterns have also been shown to be improved with low carbohydrate diets and hormonal balance, especially related to testosterone and estrogen is improved as well. I wanna be clear, not every one of our patients experiences all these benefits, but many do. For the group of patients that we treat that are successful with their low carb approach, they receive associated weight loss and it's made a huge difference in their overall feeling of health and well-being. In summary, I want to encourage you to educate yourself about the benefits of a low carb diet. You may want to learn a little bit more about insulin resistance as well because it's a critical concept. Also, I suggest you learn more about improvements in metabolic health that can be realized by losing weight on a low carb diet. For example, how you can reverse prediabetes and hypertension and improve cholesterol level and also triglyceride level. There's a lot of information on these topics out there. You just need to go get it. And then especially, I want you to learn about the use of a continuous glucose monitor for weight loss. There's a lot of information out there on this as well. If you search the web using the terms CGM, non-diabetic, and weight loss, you'll find a lot of useful information. And also, of course, 